Right, uh, hello, 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 everybody. Pretzel Road here. And welcome to a uh, live stream of Polytopia. So today we are going to be playing as the Imperius in domination mode as normal. Um, we're going back to the that sort of classic style of live stream. So we will select imperious and then what else can we do we we'll just uh, do that good all right crazy three opponents start game oh okay this is not a good start so we're right in the middle of the map it looks like um, that's certainly not an ideal situation Hmm. All right. We're yeah, we're we're in the middle of a large landmass that presumably has other tribes on it, which is never a uh, particularly fun start. Oh, should I should have I should have selected uh, workshop. I don't know why I didn't do that, but uh, now at least we've got a good idea of how we can get, or what other cities we can get. Hopefully, a little bit of a head start now on other tribes. Um, let's see. Alright, looks good. We'll do like this. Alright, so now we've conquered a city. We are officially sort of becoming an empire. We're no longer just a city state. Good start, good start. Um, research uh, climbing. Oh, nice, we met the Bardur. I do love me some other tribes, don't you? <laughs> right. What else can we do? Turn next, uh, next turn. Uh, we can maybe try researching riding. That might be useful. Let's just, uh, torment them a little bit. Maybe we'll, uh, train up a rider over here. Um... And I definitely want to use these mountains around us to the fullest advantage for exploring. Oh, we've we've encountered the Shinshi as well. Nice. Uh, it hasn't popped up yet, but you can see that red border right there. That's the Shinshi border. All right, all right, all right. Now, now we've encountered the Shinshi, for real. Alright, here we go. Let's try doing something like this. I want to train up some riders to help out with our, uh, our fight over here. We can level up this city so we can train up more soldiers from here. Workshop this time. Like all reasonable people should choose. Um, let's see, we'll do like this. Nice. And then we can do like that. And then send this guy over here. And this guy over here. Um, ooh. Looks like that uh, Bardur guy may be trying to go after our, our uh, city over there. That's not good. Here we go. So we'll need to defend that quickly. Ooh. So this is what we get for uh, starting the game right in the middle of the map. Um. There we go. So 
We'll, uh, I'll try doing a little bit of, like, defense stuff. Hopefully this is effective. There I'm not. Lost a, lost a city. Yeah, no, uh, I definitely don't do well as, uh, one who starts in the middle of the map. I tend to like to develop my cities a little bit more. I tend to take the sort of development and then, and then fight strategy, which is not working well on this map, so it looks like we're gonna have to start another game. Yep, there we go. Goodbye. All right. So. We'll go. Whoops. New game. Domination mode. Imperious. Let's go. Let's see. See what we can do this time. Because I have definitely had better, uh, better games. All right. So this is good. This city is a lot easier to defend, if nothing else. Um, especially early in the game. Which is the most, uh, th that's the most, early in the game is the most critical time for a city to be easily defend, uh, defensible, defendable. Because after that point, um, yeah, a after the beginning of the game, you have enough resources to, uh, just sort of, you know, pump out soldiers, um. Ooh, okay. So we've got... We've got a, a city that's, another city that's easily defensible just by those mountains right there. That's uh, helpful. And they also have resources in them. So, double useful. Uh, we should research farming next turn, I think. Yeah, let's do farming. All right, let's see what's over here. Okay, good, we're on an island. We are completely geographically isolated. Uh, now, we don't have quite as many cities as might be uh, nice, but we do have enough resources here to sustain a bit of development um, for a while. So I think we should be fine, uh, even without a lot of cities. All right, so we can try that. And then yeah, we'll, we'll need to uh we'll need to research uh re research sailing fairly early on here to uh really be a contender uh in this game. But we do at least have a good sort of starting point um from which to build out um out of um I just I just can't talk today. You know, listening to the uh live stream preview. Um let's see, so we'll do like that. I'd like to research forestry as well at some point soon. Alright, there we go. Forestry. Now we can do a couple of lumber huts. Not there apparently. Um we'll, uh we should also research um mining. Um, so we'll do that right there. All right. And we'll research, uh, sailing or fishing next. Um, and then we can maybe make a mine over here. That mine is mine. All right, good. All right, so then this turn we'll research sailing. 
Next turn we'll build a port, and then after that we can research navigation. Um, but th this will mean that hopefully we'll be able to uh, really take advantage of this water before um, before it gets used against us. Uh, Alright, so now we can actually build the port. Here we go. Border growth. Nice. Alright. Good. Good. Looking good. Alright. So then... Navigation. So let's just see what lies beyond this land. Uh, we can upgrade these to ships just to make um, make sure that nobody gets the wrong idea about uh, what kind of ambition we have. We have imperial ambitions. We are not just any little uh, meager country. We will become an empire. An empire, I say. Um... Maybe we'll send this guy over this way. Um, over this way. As I can't point at the screen. Nobody will uh, know what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, nice. So now this one has border growth too. We can um, make a lumber hut over here. So I'm going to try to stay sort of outside of anyone's territory, just, um, just for safety. Um, maybe next turn we can build a uh, port for this city. Alright, good. And then we'll train up a new we'll train up a new warrior over here. Good. Alright, now let's explore what's back here. Oh, just more Omaji territory, okay. So we want to try to avoid dealing with the Umaji as much as possible until we actually have kind of a uh, decent Imperial, um, Imperial skill, military power. Because at the moment, at the moment, we really don't have the uh, same resources that the Umaji clearly do. Um, and that, that's, I think, just sort of a, uh, in, in the nature of the type of tribe that we're playing as this, uh, this time, is that we really have to, uh, spend a little bit of time. Maybe it's also sort of in the nature of my play style, but you, you definitely have to spend a bit of- I definitely have to spend a bit of time um, developing my um, empire before I can really actually do anything with it. Uh, in other words, I don't have like sort of an instant empire. Alright, let's just take a look at, like, what the uh, various tribes think of us. Uh, so the Bardur are dead. The uh, Umaji are angry at us, and the Shinshi couldn't care much less. Um, alright. Let's just... We can do something like that, and then we'll attack this guy like that. We'll turn this guy into a ship, turn this guy into a ship, continue to attack that, good. Now, let's just, let's just take a look back here and see what they've got. Hmm, okay. 
We should train more uh, warriors over here just in case. Alright. So we'll do like that. We can send this guy up here. We'll send this guy up. Oh, it doesn't look like he can really do anything yet. That's okay. Turn these two into ships. Um, the, the ship for me is really just sort of a stepping stone up to a battleship. But, um, the reason I'm only going up to ships here is because we don't really have the same kind of money that you would need for a battleship. And I think it just makes, um, makes us a little bit more intimidating, maybe a little bit better at attacking. Um, alright, let's take a look at things that can earn us coins. Uh, earn us stars. So let's see, windmills are for population. Um, let's see. The customs house does stars. Uh, the forge is population. So I'm looking at what sort of supplemental buildings can uh, earn us stars. Um... Sawmills are population. Okay, so it looks like we really, what we really want to work our way up to is trade and getting customs houses. So we'll just work our way up from roads. All right, uh, let's send this guy over here to get that thing. We can move this guy back here to attack. And we should also train up a couple of, a couple more warriors just for uh, safety. All right, so we will do uh, that. Oh, nice, Explorer. So now we can see sort of what the Shinshi are up to over here. Oh, God, they've got a lot of giants. Ooh, that's gonna be a long one. That's gonna be a really long fight. Um, I can see that right now. Um, we should... Train up a uh, a rider over there just for safety again. Okay. Let's see. Trade. Good. Now, next turn we'll be able to build customs houses. And more ports, hopefully, over over time. We should also research mathematics uh, soon. That way we can uh, deter the Umaji from uh, making any more attacks. Or uh, making any attacks in the first place, I guess, uh, with um, catapult lines. All right, let's see. So, um, hmm. So let's just take a look at where, um, how we can maximize profit from a port. So we have a port all right, all right, from a custom house. So if you have one over here, it can reach at most level two. Over here, the same thing. Over here, it can reach that as well. Over here, we've only got two water spaces. No, we've got... It can reach a maximum of level four. That's probably the best we can get. Except for over here, which is the same. However, we've got a farm there. And I, I want to keep the farm. 
So I think what we should do is we should begin building ports over along here and build a customs house there. Hmm. Hmm, okay. And then it will be over here, the most you can reach is a level two, I think. Okay. So then, as far as these guys are concerned, we'll just move them around a little bit. Um, again, we're just going to try to sort of defend this area for a bit until we can develop it more. Okay. Next thing next. Um. Should we do mathematics? No, we should build a custom house over here. Because, because that, that will directly, directly earn us coins, or stars, stars I guess, right, right away. As far as, far as these guys are, are concerned, we can, we can recover anyone, anyone that needs recovery. recovery. Doesn't look like anyone, anyone really needs it. it. So we're just, just gonna save, save up. up. Ships. Over, 
over time, I guess. So battleship. So we can only use this one this turn, but over time I'm going to sort of continue doing that same thing. And eventually we should be able to uh, create a formidable battleship um, army, uh, navy, yeah, navy, not army, I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, let's see, we can do mathematics now, that will give us the uh, ability to train up catapults. Alright, let's see, we'll go here. Alright, now, um, let's train up a catapult here first. Then we can do another battleship. Which we can use against the Umaji. We'll do something like that, and we can do something like that. And we'll send this guy up here, who can now do nothing. And this guy up here, can, who can also do nothing. Alright. Next turn. Alright. So this catapult is definitely going to be a bit of a, um... Uh, this is going to be a bit of a decision that we have to make because I want to be able to use a city to train up soldiers. However, moving him will mean that he's um, more subject to getting killed just because he doesn't have as much uh, defense. So we'll, I just moved him out because I think that's going to be more useful to us, but it is frustrating. Alright, good. So we've gotten rid of that swordsman. We can continue attacking the Umaji. Alright, good. Now, let's see. We can't move into their city yet, but we can just sort of torment them from across the ocean. Alright, good. Now, what we can do here, so we'll do something like that. Check out what we have in terms of uh, direct threats to our claim to that city. Doesn't look like there's really anything aside from that guy who have gotten rid of him. Let's turn these two into battleships, definitely. That way our uh, giants have full power when we go off to war. Alright, let's, uh, whoops. We'll uh, just sort of move that guy around a bit. Alright, now, we've conquered this city. Looks good. Thing we need to do. So, what does the park do? Presumably, the park adds to our population. Let's just try a park and see what happens. Did that add to our uh, coin total or our star um, stars per turn? Huh. I don't know. Alright, let's continue attacking the Umaji. Definitely. Okay, this guy needs to be uh, disposed of. He's probably not going to be able to get rid of this guy, but I still want to make sure that he's... Oh, uh... Yeah, no, I think we're fine. What's his attack? Yeah, no. So, we're fine, fine. Hmm, okay. Anything else we need to do? Alright, looks good.
So hopefully now we can, yeah. So now we have isolated this little city over here, the um, yeah. Umaju city of Jumumumu. What an interesting name um, for a city. Um, this definitely should um, be to our advantage because now not only are we stronger, but they are now weaker. So it's a win-win um, for us, a, a double win for us, not not a win-win for them. All right, let's see. Anything else? Let's just uh, go then. All right, let's see. We'll send uh, this. Uh, we'll send this catapult up in case they try to do any sort of funny business with our um, empiring. All right. Let's see. I don't like the fact that the Shinshi are trying to take this city that I'm also trying to take because that may mean that the. Let's see. Yeah. So the Umaji have two cities. This one and this one. And I want to make sure that I'm the one to uh, end the Umaji. Although, actually, we should be able to do that just fine. Um, just, we can keep this city over here alive. Alright, good. So as long as... Now, now that we've kept this city you know, sort of just barely on life support for long enough... This city's been on sort of this life support ish for long enough now that we can, whoops, uh, claim to have ended the Umaji tribe. Uh, we need to learn how to do shields. There we go. Actually, no. Let's do smithery and then we can do a, uh, swordsman. Alright, we'll go over. Let's see. No one this guy can really attack yet. But we should train a swordsman over here to help him out. Uh, in this area, which presumably they don't really know what's going on over here, we can begin uh, training up a naval fleet. get rid of this giant over here because good that was just going to be a pain for us all right good we get rid of him we get rid of him we should go over here and attack him whoops that didn't work out so well um we should definitely work on some catapult lines over here um, oh, we can capture this city now. And now we have officially ended the Umaji. Alright, let's see. We can, well, we're gonna do, uh, defenders, I think, for our naval fleet. And this, um, defender-based naval fleet should have a similar attack to everyone else. Let's see. Attack of four. Let's see. What is the uh, normal swordsman attack? Three. Let's see. Um, yeah. So they all have the same attack. This guy... So now we just have defender or swordsman level health. Uh, defenders are cheaper. So we're just going to do like that. Alright. Good. We should make sure that they uh, don't try to do anything to us from over there. Let's see. Now. Over here, I'm not going to reveal the fleet that I have being built until I, um, I'm not going to bring any of them out until we've, uh, sort of roughly completed, um, building it up. 
All right, so we'll move this guy over here. Upgrade, upgrade. We'll train up another defender to help him out. Maybe we can train one from up here just in case, just, just to uh, help a little bit. All right, good. Make sure he doesn't see anything that he shouldn't. Um, attack him. And again. We can move down to here. Over here. We'll do like that, and we'll do like that. Alright. We'll train up another swordsman over here to help him out. Alright, good. Next turn. Alright. So it looks like they're going to try to form a defense now because of um, what I'm doing, which is good. Because that's what we want them to do, since it'll prevent them from attacking us. Uh, get rid of him, and then we can uh, claim this city. Alright. So we can get a little attacking over here so that they have a harder time taking us out from there. Now we'll move these two forward and get these two guys in the water. Have them turned into battleships. Train up new defenders to help them out. Alright, good. Anyone else we can do anything with. Now let's just uh, train up another duplicate of him. Alright, good. Oh, let's actually check out our tech tree right now. Um, free spirit, and then chivalry, maybe. Now that sounds good. We'll just move him. Ah. That's unfortunate. Ooh, fun. We have to deal with them again. Alright. Let's see. Catapult. Goodbye. Uh, let's get another swordsman over here. We'll move these two up. Move these two up. And move these two in. And then we can do two battleships. Alright, good. So that will uh, conclude the setup of our, um, our new fleet. So, without further ado, we will begin sending them up next turn. Oh, goody. Try this. Well, um, that city's gone. Alright, let's try these two. Um, or th this city over here. Because I don't think that they really quite realized that we were so close to them th in this way. All right, let's go. All right. Now, um, they have full claim up. Uh, the, they they have begun claiming stuff up there. That's okay. Uh, up at the top, that's okay because we've still got some um, defenses up there for our own cities. So what we can do is now
just... Oh, goody. We've got a couple of uh, giants over here, it looks like, that we're going to have to deal with. So, we can do just a little bit of attacking like that. Uh, because they're just ships, they can't really do anything f uh, to stop us. Let's see, how much health does this guy have left? He's got nine health. He's not really a big worry. Alright, anyone we can attack with these guys? No, let's just move them out. And we can replace this guy with a new uh, catapult. Alright. And let's get a second catapult over here as well. Whoa. Okay. So we can conquer the city. That's now ours. Um, as far as these guys are concerned, we can dispose of them relatively easily. We'll send this guy up here. We'll do like that. Get it. How much health does he have? 33. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> How much health does our swordsman have? Eh, ten. Could be better, could be worse. Let's just go. Okay. Let's see. So we've got um we've got to uh work on this giant over here. Because I definitely he's definitely making me kind of uncomfortable. Oh shoot. Oh okay. Let's see. Let's get a knight over here because uh we're going to need his uh, persistability with these these guys. How much health does he have, though? Yeah, so we hopefully should be able to get rid of him. If not, nah, whatever. All right, let's go. Yep. Alright. But they made a very predictable move here in the- oh... Come on. Alright, firstly, we can get rid of him. Secondly, get rid of that guy. Um... How do they have so many giants? That's... Isn't that- <sighs> How many cities do they have? Oh. They've got twice as many cities as us. No wonder they have so many giants. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's see, we can um definitely. Let's see. What can we do here? Um, how can we do a windmill over here? That might be useful. No, I don't think so. Actually, a windmill could be useful over here, though. In fact, yeah, if we can get the uh, destroy buildings thing... And we also learned how to build a windmill from that. So then we can burn the forest. Well, I guess we should have cleared it. But now we can build a windmill here. Alright.
right. All right, let's just, uh, oh, these guys should definitely be used, uh, well. All right, let's see, who can this guy attack? Let's get rid of him. All right, next turn. Now, just uh, get rid of that guy. Now. Okay, come on. How do these guys have so much health? Normally these guys are like, you know, easy pickings. You can just... Alright, what about the catapults? How much health do they have? Normally, aren't you normally able to use these to like... Aren't you basically able to one-shot these guys with a knight normally? That's so strange. Alright, well we've gotten get rid of a couple of giants. That's good. Uh, we'll need to replace this guy again. Alright. Okay. Well, this live stream has been fun and very stressful. I think we need to take a break. We will continue this tomorrow. Um... We'll just continue it in the same stream, I think. So, yeah, I think I, I think that we'll just continue this in the same stream. So, until next time, uh, have a nice day. Like, share, subscribe, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Goodbye.